सो हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम टू योर चैनल कुकिंग एस्ट्रोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग माई चैनल एंड लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक्स लॉट सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर जर्नी अवर सीरीज ऑफ प्लेनेट्स थ्रू हाउसेज इन अ पांच आर्ट इन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड प्लेनेट मून प्लेसमेंट इन द फर्स्ट हाउस ऑफ योर नबमांच कुंडली एंड वट आर दी पॉजिटिव एंड द नेगेटिव रिजल्ट डेट आर पर्टिकुलरली एसोसिएटेड विद दिस मून प्लेसमेंट इन द लखना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मून वेन एवर दिस इज पोजिटेड इन दी फर्स्ट हाउस एंड एज पर दी प्रिंसिपल्स बेनिफिट्स इन दी क्वाड्रेंट्स ऑफ योर नबांश कुंडली हैव दी एबिलिटी टू गिव यू एक्सलेंट अमाउंट ऑफ रिजल्ट नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम दी मैरिज एंड दी मेरिड लाइफ एस्पेक्ट बट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम दी फाइनेंशियल एंड दी करियर एंगल so that moon in the lagna have the ability to bless you with all such kind of events but there is going to be one major problem which is particularly associated with moon because this moon tend to feel completely bored in one on one relationship with any other person and this is the single most planet which is even responsible for some sort of emotional cheating with your life partner here i'm not saying you are going to cheat with your life partner but yes the tendencies are eventually present over there because moon in the first house it become very very difficult for you individuals to specifically fulfill your emotional demands and needs by just using one single partner because moon is just like a small baby or consider that thing as a very emotional planet so moon have no control over its own emotions and moon continuously need something to feed its energy because this is the representation of your mind so whenever it is in the first house na you individuals are going to be like that you will look for every parameter or every aspect in your husband or in your wife like you can even going to look like my wife is going to fulfill my wife needs my best friend needs as well and she is going to even fulfill my motherly needs as well my fatherly needs as well so it become very very difficult for other individuals to eventually adjust according to your planetary alignments although it depend upon the matchmaking part as well if your partner is going to have the prominency of libra or planets is in the libra yes they have the ability to be very flexible be very adaptable according to the environment and have the ability to fulfill all the needs of this planet moon but if there is going to be some rigid planets like mars saturn and even other malefics if they are in the first house of your other half ascendant of navash kundli then the problems are going to become really very very worst because i will tell you this moon is always be in that emotional state all the time so even after marriage they are going to be very self critical of whom we are actually getting married to and what is the perception of other individuals towards our marriage life so as you as soon as you are converting from one person to two person that is means you are from the singular entity you are going to watch the marriage bond so moon is going to feel a very very deep set of emotions which only these individuals can understand what they are feeling because they are going to be very extra critical of okay so if i'm marrying this person eventually this partner will help me to uplift my reputation my name my fame my recognition in the society or not or if you are a female with this kind of a placement you might going to think okay am i going to be a good look getting a good looking partner here i will tell you the status symbol the financial symbol even the kind of other factors that are also going to be at extreme and with moon in the lagna so they are going to be very nitpicking and very choosy at the time of choosing their partners as well because this is going to not only reflect their emotions but their overall persona as well so they just want to enhance their own life by any means possible it may be through comfort through love through conveniences and i personally don't consider this thing as a good thing if you are finding a partner and if you particularly find that partner that is a very good thing but the challenges will come if for example after putting a hardcore efforts they will not be able to find any perfect person that will match their own qualifications which is presetted by this moon then this will going to become really very problematic because then moon will continuously keep on chasing more and more persons more and more persons and when they start from one person and when they reach to the 50th person then the moon tend to understand no 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 i'm going in the wrong direction 
the first person or the second person which I have eventually looked after that is a very good person. But that 50th person is not good. So that is also a trap in front of you. If you keep on chasing, keep on chasing, keep on chasing and you will not be able to find, okay, let me settle with this person because no one is perfect. That is a practical remedy for this thing. But if you will not be able to settle for anything less and that moon have the ability, the more the strengthened this moon is going to be, the more this is going to be problematic at the time of choosing a partner. Selection is becoming very, very critical or maybe someone else on behalf of you is actually helping you to please, okay, look for this thing and okay, that is a suitable partner. Or you need to start looking for the overall picture as well or the overall scenarios. There are over 50-60% divorce rates that are happening nowadays practically I'm telling you. On the daily basis I receive a lot of astrological consultations and because I will tell you there are going to be some planetary combinations that are creating some sort of problems over there. And moon is that particular planet. Because moon is the emotion you always need to feel happy. But moon don't understand like this is not a game of happiness I need to do some contribution as well. And moon don't want to do contribution in the lagna. Moon just want to feel happy irrespective of their earning their financial status but that moon always want to want that joy out of that relationship part. But if the other person is going to be very extra critical with the malefics in the ascendant then it become very difficult for them to adjust with other individuals. That is also the number one significator. Many are telling like okay the delayed marriage is seen from Saturn, Saturn placement in the Lagna in the seventh house of the D1 chart. So Saturn is a planet of delay. I completely agree. But do you want to know the reasons why that event is getting delayed? It is not like that Saturn is delaying that thing. Saturn is holding you back. This is not like that. Still you have some sort of a free will. Okay, let me go and choose a partner and do the selection. So that selection part is becoming very, very critical over there. Okay, after selecting the partner, now you are getting married. After a lot of difficulty, I will tell you. This might going to take up to 35, 38, 42 and even up to the age of 48 as well. Because moon have that unhappiness take. Like no, this is not a perfect thing. This is not a perfect thing. So that keep on chasing, keep on chasing, keep on chasing. And even their mind don't know whom, which thing I'm chasing right now. So that is a bit like very critical part of this moon in the first house. Also in the positive side, this moon is extra clever or I will tell you overly cautious at the same time. And when I discuss with regards to the career aspect, business aspect, this is a very, very clever person. Because whenever the moon is in the very strong dignity in your Nabanj Lagnana, moon have the ability to behave as a king or have the ability to make you a king maker as well. Because then this moon is going to be full of knowledge as well as a lot of cleverness and diplomacy as well. So these individuals have the ability to go around the things. You can also check your D1 chart, that is your natal birth chart. Look in which zodiac sign moon is posited and look at the transition happening. For example, in D1 it's in the sign of Taurus and in, in the D9 this is going in the sign of Gemini. So the transition from that stable environment is happening towards more wind element. So then you are going to be more towards acquiring multiple income streams at the same time. Because moon is your mental state, this is your peace of mind. That is why this is exalted in the sign of Taurus. But in the Nabash Kundli, this is not the financial stability which is bringing them the mental peace. This is their partner, their reputation in the society. Okay, if, the, uh, if I'm like, like right now, I'm as a couple, I'm going to post my photograph of, over the social media. So what is the perception? What my friends are going to think regarding both of us? Is this a good wife? Is this a bad person? This thing, that thing. So they are very overly cautious with regards to that thing. Also, it become very difficult. I will tell you if both of them have having the moon moon in the lagna, then this is going to create separation at some point in your life. The saving factor with this particular moon is you need to have the better understanding of no one is perfect and start looking around things. Look at the relationships that are not perfectly fine and you need to be at least thank or offer gratitude like your relationship is still functioning because benefit don't easily destroy the relationship. Even if at some point in your life with moon in the lagna, certain circumstances will arise. Okay, now it's a time to let me take divorce or some kind of a separation. Moon is still going to think for second or third opinion. Like maybe if any saving factor is there, let me save it. 
because moon don't want to hurt the emotions and feelings of other person at the same time that is also become a very traumatic situations in most of the scenarios because these individuals they have the ability to become very empathetic very empathetic so then they keep on start on gaining the emotional burden of other people upon their life irrespective of what they are feeling they have no idea but they keep on taking that emotional stress oh my goodness look that is happening in their family that is happening in their family so this moon is becoming a very emotional person very sensitive with regards to looking at what is happening in the other people household at the same time that is where this moon that is your emotions you are going to suffer a lot because of this particular i'm not asking you to completely cut it off it become very difficult for any human being to completely shut the flow of negative emotions for your mind completely but you can train your mind you can focus more towards the good things in your life rather than on the bad things moon is going to work in the similar way if some go good event is going to be happening na out of nine planets moon is the first planet that will experience it that is your mind so then you are going to feel something okay something good have happened if something bad is also happening na moon is going to feel that thing very easily oh my goodness this is happening maybe any sudden event so that moon is becoming very critical with that sudden part moon, this moon always want to live in the comfort zone this moon not at all want any sort of an anxiety trauma coming from either their family either their boy side girl side family so this moon don't want that kind of a situation and that is the main reason they are completely devoid of that thing if you ask them na with moon in the first house of navash do you want to get married they might going to say no let me have a opinion let me think about that thing so they are not going to have any strong opinion toward that thing because moon understand from the inside the emotional perspective or the suffering part that marriage also bring with it so moon have that better understanding but this not like that you will not be able to get married because in the vedic astrology you need to pay attention towards the janam lagan kundli that is your natal birth chart at the same time in order to understand the complete picture so i hope you have gained some better understandings with regards to moon placement in the first house of your navash kundli if you have any queries any consultations you can please contact me at my email id any marriage career spiritual or business consultation do let me know and i will try my best to respond you back as soon as possible so till then please subscribe my channel below and make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video and thank you so much for sending me super thanks and everything all your love i will i'm extremely grateful for everything you can please don't forget to follow me on instagram as well and i'm going to be in touch with you very very soon so till then please take care of yourself